what is up guys little dog dog here i'm bringing you a guide to the fish flingers distraction and diversion this distraction and diversion is a great experience gainer you can get up to 20,000 experience if you play with other people around 15,000 experience if you play by yourself if you're the only one in the minigame and i think it's actually quite fun and kind of a puzzle solving minigame to catch fish so i'm going to go over all the basics on how to complete the minigame by getting all the tackle you need uh, as well as starting the minigame and the best ways to go about it. To get into the minigame, all you have to do is right click on the guide that says Fish Flinger starts in three minutes. As you see here on your screen, this is just a screenshot, but all you do is right click on him and you click teleport to Fish Flingers after he said that. You can also claim rewards from him if you played the game before. Um, that's how you get the fishing outfit, um, but I'm just going to get right into it. Once you get into the fish fl flingers lobby, the first thing you're going to want to do is come over to this fisherman and select get hit from. This is going to tell you a hint about where you can catch a fish, typically about the biggest fish in the competition. The hint that the fisherman tells you is going to mention one specific area, be it the beach, lake, river, or docks. Uh, from any of these positions, you can catch one or two fish, depends on the specific fish flingers you in. As there are only four fishing spots and six fish, some areas are going to have two different types of fish. That's going to bring in a little bit of difficulty in selecting the right tackle, as you have to be somewhat close to the correct tackle to catch the other fish. You start in the waiting area, and from there you can choose where you want to start first. Typically my route goes the docks, then the lake, then the river, and then finally the beach. That way I'm not running around like a chicken with my head cut off, and I can just go all the way from south to north, and it works out a little better that way. When the game starts, you're going to pre be presented with this interface. Um, it consists of your bait, your hook, and your weights. All the baits, all the hooks, and all the weights are related to one another um, in making the perfect tackle. As you can see, there are two types of worms. When you're given a hint, these are going to be the hints that mention that there's wriggling. There are two types of grasshoppers. Um, one is a locust and one is a cricket. Uh, these are related to one another. There are two types of shellfish. These are related to one another. And there are two types of moths. These are going to be the flittering ones when you get a hit. These baits are also related to one another by color also. So you can see that the worms in the top left are the same color as the shrimps on the row under that. Those are both a red bait. Uh, and then you have the maggots and the crickets related by color also like the locust and the moth, and finally the crayfish and the uh, moth. And then for the hooks, you have your slim hook and your normal hook are related. Those are the first two. You have your large hook and your double hook. Those are related. And then you have your wooden hook and your bone hook. Those are also related. So um, your standard hook is just your normal hook. And finally, you have three weights um, consisting of one, two, and three, whatever the measurement is. Um, you have to combine these to get up to six. So three, two, and one make six. One and two make three. Three and one make four, and so on. So this is going to be the interface you're given, and you have to use everything you have here to make um, the perfect bait for a fish. So once the game starts, you can have this interface pop up here. It consists of the species, habitat, weight, what bait you're using, what hook you're using, what range you're using, and finally the rating of your um, bait combination. Now the rating consists of three parts, being the bait, hook, and range for the specific species. <clears throat> and each one of those consists of 33%. Now an almost correct choice for the bait is going to be 16%. So as you can see, I have 50% here. 33% don't add up. So when I'm either my bait, my hook, or my range, one of those is completely correct, giving me a 33%. And either my bait, hook, or range is almost correct giving me a 16% adding up to the total of 50%. Now what I would have to do here is change one variable at a time, be it my bait, hook, or range, until that goes up. Now if I were to change my range to say 6 and it drops 16%, then I know that it was my range that was wrong because if I put it to 2 then, my rating would go up to 66%. <clears throat> I know that doesn't make sense, but I have a live commentary over the video that will be in later of me actually going through a fish flingers and getting a 100% on all the fish. And that will clear it up a little bit when you finally see what I'm doing. Also, before the game starts, you're going to have the little um, timer up in the top left and a little button you can click that says ratings. This is going to tell you where fish are. Um, and 
Once you've begun the competition, it's going to tell you what weight your biggest fish or what weight those fish are, consisting from lightest to heaviest, um, what bait was the best bait to use for that fish, what hook was the best bait to use for that fish, and what distance was the best bait to use for that fish. So the only use that this really has before the game starts is knowing how many fish are at each place. That way you can kind of prioritize. So say you have two fish at the docks, you can start at the docks first, even though you might want to start at the docks first anyway, but some people play the game a little differently, and that's really up to you. So you have two fish at the docks and then two fish at the lake. You can have four fish done in two spots, and then you can just kind of coast through the rest without having to move. This ratings area is just really nice for planning how you're going to go through the mini game. And lastly, before I show you the video, I just wanted to go over the reward shop. This consists of the fishing uh, experience bonus outfit that is the hat, jacket, waders, and boots. You can also get some extras, which consists of getting fish for um, some tokens, some extra tickets to play the game that cost 100 tokens, and then there's an effect that costs 100 tokens to catch two fish for every fish you catch instead of one. And then you have the tackle box, which is um, 20 medals and 110 tokens. You can get this after playing the game about 10 times if you get um, the two easiest medals to get. Before the game starts, it's useful to check the ratings to see what fish are where. So you can see that I have Crested Cod and Flattery Salmon at the docks. Those are right here. I can knock out both of those once the game starts and have two of the six fish done pretty quick. So when the game starts, I'm going to go straight to the docks because that's close and it's going to save me time instead of having to come back. You're going to fish near the barrels here and you just want to make sure you select a hook, a weight, and a bait. So once you catch a fish, after you select your basic bait, you're going to get a rating up here. Now, because I selected a worm... I'm going to switch it up to a locust because it's a different type of bait and watch what my rating changes to. Now my rating went down, so I'm going to try the maggot now. And if it goes up or stays the same, then I know that I have the right bait. So I have the maggot here. Since it's above 50%, I gained 33%. That's the most you can gain by having the right thing. And now I either have um, a hook one off, a weight one off, or the hook right or the weight right, and one of these one off. So I'm going to change to this slim hook and see what that does. Okay, the slim hook was correct, I believe. I think I have uh, just the weight one off now. So I'm going to change the weight to two, and that should give me 100%. Okay, and now I've caught all the salmon, but there is another fish here, so I'm going to change it up as much as I can. All right, and now I've begun catching cod. And I actually got really close on the first one, so I'm going to try switching to a bone hook first. If it goes down now, then I know that I had the wooden hook correct. So the wooden hook was correct because these two are shared um, between 16%. These two are shared between 16%, the large hook and the double hook, and the slim hook are shared between 16%. So it may be my weight, so I'm going to change my weight to 5 So six was the correct weight, and now it's either my bait, so it has to be my bait, so it's either a green moth or the crayfish that are going to be the correct bait. It was the green moth. I know that because these are shared baits. See, the, green, the gray moth shares gray with the crayfish, that may be what the fish was attracted to, or it could have been the moth, the green moth, because it shared the same body type as a moth. So now I'm going to check the ratings again. I'm heading to the lake right now. And there are two f types of fish at the lake also. You'll never have a fish that shares the same um, settings. So you want to just change it up as much as you can. So on a changing to a double hook gave me another 33%. So I'm just going to start changing the distance now. So five may have been the right distance. Five definitely was the correct distance. So now it's either the regular worms or the crayfish. All 
All right, that's completed. Now I just need to catch the other fish here. Change it up as much as I can. So at the distance of three, I caught some trout. So I'm going to go back to distance three. Okay, it's not distance three. Let's try distance two. Oh, it's going to be four. It's going to be four. Four is going to be the correct distance because I had three here. It was at 33%. One was 0%, so it has to be four. All right, four is going to be the correct distance. Let's see about the bait. Let's try the maggots. Maggots did nothing, so that means it's not the cricket either. So we can try the gray moth. And now we can try the shrimp. So the shrimp is it. Now we just need to find the right hook. So because the standard hook did nothing, um, I can change to the large hook because it also wouldn't be the slim hook or else I would have a 16% gain. So I'll try the large hook. It can be a little difficult sometimes, but once you finally get it, you're going to want to move on. We're going down to the river next. <clears throat> and we want to change up what we're fishing with completely. So the locust has never been picked with a um, heaviest weight as well as a bone hook. So that's what we're going to try. Or a standard hook. So let's try the standard hook. So it's going to be the bone hook. Let's try a five distance. See if that goes up or down. If it goes down, then we know that six is going to be the right distance. Didn't change at all. So let's try a three. And a one. All right, one is the correct distance. Now, the bait is only off by 16%, so we need to find it's either the green moth but the green moth is already used, so it's got to be the cricket. And that's 100%. And now down to the last fish, we're going to the beach. And we haven't used a heaviest weight, so we're going to go as heavy as we can. Actually, we are going to want three or four because my hint consisted of it being far but not too far so the weight we're going to use a little heavy the bait we're going to want to use is going to be the crayfish and the hook is going to be standard All right, we're close already with the first one, so it may be three for the distance. All right, and we've done it. Now, when you're at the point where you've 100 percented all the fish, you want to look at the weight um, of the fish. So we can see the cove bass at the beach are the heaviest. So what we're fishing for right now is what we want to continue fishing for to get the heaviest fish and bring our total weight up as high as we can. So for the next two minutes, I'm just going to fish here until or until this bar here reaches 100% and then I'm going to move to the next heaviest fish to bring up my total weight as much as possible. So you can see I'm on the podium here. What you're going to get with the podium is your score. It tells you how many fish you caught, what your total weight was. Mine ended up being 6,510. Heaviest fish was 199 pounds. All perfect tackle found and then you have your medals here junior angler and master angler 
um, are about finding the perfect tackles, whopper, or at least three big fish. Those only happen when there are more than one person in the fish flingers competition. I'll show you that next. And team player, which is assist in catching at least six big fish, which I will also show you. I don't know if I'll be able to get team player, depending on how many people are online, but there is a world for fish flingers that is world 89, and we're going to go there now. Before I left the podium, I also wanted to touch on your fishing score and fishing experience. So fishing experience, I got 15,000 experience just about for 10 minutes of fishing in an actual fun mini game. Uh, it's pretty great experience. I use this to get to my fish where my fishing level is now. And you can also see how many fish tokens you received at the top of the competition results. So now we're going to head over to World 89 and try and catch some big fish. When a big fish pops up, you're going to get a message in your chat box. And you just need to find who's around. And then you're going to have a little puddle that you saw there. And the big fish is going to come in. Now you're all going to share that big fish. So once again, as you can see, you're going to have this little puddle in the water. If you have your sound on, you're going to hear it. And you're going to have this little um, thing pop up in your box. Everyone who assists gets the weight. It's a very good way to boost your weight. That's going to be it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. If this helped, be sure to uh, leave a like. Comment down below if you have any questions, tips, suggestions, or complaints about the guide. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're bored, check out some other stuff. I do boss guides, quest guides, and I just started my first series, a hardcore Iron Man.